hello, I'm Pete English with Keller Williams in the Atlanta Perimeter Office. And today we're going to talk about how do you set up your DocuSign account in KW Command. So it should be relatively easy to do. The only hiccups that you might have is if you have a previous account with DocuSign. So obviously we at Keller Williams have not been using DocuSign, we've been using Dot Loop. However, if you've ever done a real estate deal with another real estate firm, then there is the possibility that they were using DocuSign and that you actually created a DocuSign account previously. So if you did, you know, everything that I'm about to show you may not work and you'll need to get on the phone with DocuSign, call them up. If you simply Google DocuSign tech support, you'll see their telephone number. I don't have it off the top of my head, but it's easy enough to get. And simply explain to them what your issue is. And what you'll figure out is that with DocuSign, you can have a DocuSign account, but you can only have one email associated with your DocuSign account. So that's really the, uh, the big crux of the matter. Everything. If you've never had a DocuSign account, this works fine. If you've previously had a DocuSign account, then sometimes there's a little hair on it. So let's get to it and, uh, and see what it takes to get you going. All right, I've got my Chrome browser loaded. In a previous video, we talked about how to get Chrome on your computer, how to create bookmarks and that sort of thing. Also, bear with me on the video uh, until I get a better microphone. What's happening in my particular office here is the air conditioning comes on and off and on and off. And every time it does, the air makes the microphone modulate differently. So sometimes my voice goes up like I'm in puberty. and Sometimes it comes back down and it's a bit aggravating, but uh, hopefully we'll resolve that in future videos and it, and it won't be so obvious. All righty. So I have a bookmark to command, but you notice also that if you don't have a bookmark, you can simply type agent dot kw.com and command will pop up. All righty. So this is my dashboard for command. This is, it looks the same for everybody, except you probably don't have any tasks that say complete water bill. Uh, and then the product updates, this changes on a weekly basis. So don't worry about what this says today. What we're more interested than anything is in the top right corner, right beside your name, there's a drop down arrow. You left click one time on the drop down arrow and you come down to settings and you left click on settings. That will bring up the command settings menu and you can see some of the things that I've already got set up. And what I did is I disconnected my DocuSign account so that hopefully I can show you how to do yours if you don't already have one. So I come down here to DocuSign. It says not connected and I'm going to simply left click one time where it says connect account. Now the first time you go in, you're gonna create a DocuSign account. So put your name, preferred last name, and email address. Remember I was telling you earlier that you can only have one DocuSign account per email address. So if you wanna use your, your .kw email address, there's no problem there, but you can only use it once. Now, then it says send regist registration email. I can't do this because I've already done it, but I can tell you that when you open your email, you're going to get an email. I wanna say that it is a, a yellow colored email and in the, in the bottom middle, there's a blue button that says activate. So you simply activate it and it creates a DocuSign account. And we'll go into that in another video but simply click on the button right here that says send registration email and you should be good to go. In my case, I'm simply going to click log in here. All righty, log into DocuSign and this is what it will look like for you also. All right, so I'm gonna minimize this browser so that this is what it looks like here. So when, when you get the email and it tells you to authenticate, then this screen right here will pop up. You've already created your account. It'll say what password are you going to use. You've already created your password. And then we will log in. 
and let me bring my browser back up. And here is my command screen. And then hopefully we will find connected. Yep, that's what we wanted to do. Connected right here. And so we're still in the settings. And I have my DocuSign account created. Now, you may have a button that says authenticate again. So you would click right here and you should be in. So if you have questions, then you can certainly email me uh, or call me or put your notes uh, down below and then I'll you know, give me a, a better opportunity to understand what your issues are or, um, you know, what your, what, what the, where the problems are. And I'll be happy to try to answer them, you know, either creating a video specifically for you or to answer those questions. If these videos are helpful, then certainly like them, share them, or subscribe to the channel. And by subscribing to the channel, anytime we have a new video, you'll be immediately notified that there's a new video. You can log in and, uh, and take a look and see if it's of interest to you. And uh, you can be up to date on what's going on uh, in KW Command. So hopefully it's been helpful. And until we create the next one, have fun.